Arabs and horses are known to go hand in hand together. It's in our literature, it's in our culture. طورت في جميع المجالات ومجالات الفروسية وسباقات الخيل هي أحد هذه المجالات المتطورة وإن شاء الله أنها من أحسن إلى أفضل بإذن الله. We have right now international races, the most valuable races around the world. And away they go. Well, Prince Bando, here we are. Another year has winged round alarmingly fast, and we're on the cusp of, of the Saudi Cup 2023. I want to take you back 12 months to last year, and that pretty extraordinary victory for, for Emblem Road. Just talk about it from your perspective because the scenes will live long in people's memory. It was uh, really special for you know, the home crowd here, people who are rooting for a locally trained horse. And it was very inspirational to um, many people in the horse racing industry in this part of the world that uh, a locally trained horse, it's not unimaginable that they would be able to compete on a on an international level and a platform like the Saudi Cup and be able to do really well. Your Royal Highness, thank you very much for, for having us here. Just tell me what you remember most vividly about the Saudi Cup of, of 2022. And away they go, jumping away. Emblem Road was the one who was slowest away. Emblem Road, we know that it's going to be يعني كنا عاملين حساب هذا ومبلغين جبرتو راموس بالنقطة هذه. What a big run from making miracles on the outside. The local horse followed round by Emblem Road as well. ولكن تأخره الزائد هذا هو اللي كنا كنا على أعصابنا لكن الحمد لله إنه لحق. Now Alexis, am I right? You you could have ridden Emblem Road, but you didn't. I qualified both horses, you know, Emblem Road and Mikey Miracles. And I rode Mikey Miracles and the Sins Cup. And he won so impressive, you know. I say if that horse runs the Saudi Cup like, like now, he will win so easy. But you know, this is the whole racing. Horse beat horse. I hadn't really appreciated until last year that, of course, quite a few people in the crowd had probably been racing at King Abdulaziz racetrack for 20, 30, 40 years. And two decades ago, something like that would have been completely inconceivable to them, wouldn't it? Unimaginable, absolutely. But, uh, you know, this is horse racing. And uh, it shows that if you have the right setup, the right program, the right training, uh, good things will happen. We ought to have a word about Wiggy Ramos, another Panamanian. He w won on, on Emblem Road last year. How did you feel for him? I feel so happy, you know. He traveled to everywhere. Now he's retired, you know. And before he retired, he won the big race around the world. So I'm happy just for him, you know. He, I think he did everything. This year, you're riding the defending champion. You'll be riding Emblem Road. You know the horse well. How is he this year? Well, he, he went the last time so easy. He, he went very good. But he don't wasn't 100%, you know. And now I think he's 100%. So I hope he can run the same like last year. I think he can win the race again. I really think everybody has a really strong chance, whether it's the Japanese horses, the American horses, the locally trained horses. I think they all have a good chance. Prince Saud, uh, I think, uh, put together a good group of people. He doesn't have hundreds of horses, but uh, he's very focused. Uh, he knows all of his horses and hopefully encourage many more to participate, not only here, but to be able to also go on an international level and follow the footsteps of Prince Khad bin Abdullah. He's back again this year, so uh, I think uh, it's going to be a very interesting race.